Hello, welcome back to our page and this is a Fernando Puguan again for another video. Thank you very much for stopping by here and watching this video. Uh, kung bago ka dito sa page namin, do not forget to like and follow if you like content like this. So, ang mga content na ganito ay ito ay para sa mga Kristiyano. Kaya kung ikaw ay Kristiyano and you like this content, then do not forget to like and uh, follow this page. Now, uh, we are going to talk about uh, uh, guidelines for Christian living. Again, if you are Christian, this is for you. Uh, guidelines for Christian living. So, meron pa tayong sampo na i-share dito pa tungkol sa ating mga Christian. Okay, kung paano tayo mag-grow properly as a Christian. So, there are some, uh, there are certain rules or um, yes, there are certain rules that we that we must observe for good spiritual health, okay? So, we are talking about spiritual health here, right? Okay, number 1. Number one is read your Bible daily. Kailangan mong basahin yung Biblia mo araw-araw. For do not be content to skim through a chapter merely to satisfy your conscience. Hide the Word of God in your heart. Okay? In your heart. Hide the Word of God in your heart. Because the Word of God, it comforts us, it guides us, it corrects us, it trains us, it encourages us. Lahat ng mga kailangan mo nandito sa Biblia. Number two, learn the secret of prayer. So, kailangan mo malaman or aralin yung sekreto ng pagdadasal. Prayer is communicating. Every prayer that you pray will be answered. But, sometimes the, that answer may be yes. And sometimes no. And sometimes it is wait. But nevertheless, it will be answered. Yes, okay? Number three, we have rely constantly on the Holy Spirit. What is this Holy Spirit? We know that the Holy Spirit prays for us. Romans chapter 8. You can read there in Romans chapter 8. And what a comfort that we should be uh, be to the weakest of uh, weakest of us. Stand aside and let him take over all the choices and decisions of your life. Number four, attend church regularly. And if you, if you want to grow, uh, uh, grow spiritually properly, you have to attend church regularly. So the visible church is Christ organization upon earth. Christians need one another. We need to go gather together to worship God and nothing can take the place of church attendance. So going to church regularly is a must for us Christians. Number five, be a witnessing Christian. We witness in two ways. We witness in two ways, by life and by word. And the two, where possible, should go hand in hand. So by life, the way you live, the way you... Uh, kung paano ka mabuhay, just sa mundo bilang isang krasyano. And of course, by word, the way you speak. And of course, uh, the way you testify the goodness of the Lord in heaven. Number six, uh, let love be the ruling or let love be the ruling of your life. Love, we're speaking about love again. So Jesus said to those who followed him in John chapter, in the book of John chapter 13 verse 35, verse uh, 35, By this shall all men know that ye are disciples, if ye have loved one to another. So the greatest demonstration of the fact that we are Christians is that we love one another. Number seven, be an obedient Christian. So napaka important na tayong mga Christiano ay we are obedient enough. Okay. So let Christ have first place in all the choices of your life. Mauuna dapat ang Panginoon sa lahat ng mga choices mo sa buhay. Number eight. 
learn how to meet temptations. So bilang isang Christian, hindi natin maiwasan na maraming temptations na dumarating sa ating buhay na tinetempt tayo to make sure or to see if we are going to obey the Word of God or we are going to obey ourselves. Okay? So, learn how to meet temptations. Temptations is not, temptation is not a sin, but yielding that is sin. Okay? Yielding that is sin. Let Christ through the Holy Spirit do the fighting for us. So, ang temptation hindi siya kasalanan, pero kapag ginawa mo yung temptation na yun, or you compromise to that temptation, ito ay isang kasalanan. So, let Christ always remember, uh, let Christ through the Holy Spirit do the fighting for you. Number nine, be a wholesome Christian. Our lives and appearance should commend the gospel and make it attractive or attractive to others. Okay, napaka-importante po yan bilang isang Kristiyano. Ang buhay natin o yung appearance natin should commend the gospel na ipapakita dapat yung natutunan natin na aral, na aral ng Biblia sa atin and it must be attractive to others. And so number 10, live above your circumstances. So don't let don't let your circumstances get you down. Learn to live graciously within them, realizing the Lord Himself is with you. Okay. So, wag mong gawin yung circum every circumstance problems in your life na ito ang magdadown sa yon. But you have to live, learn to live. Kailangan mong matutunan na ag mabuhay graciously within them within those circumstances. But you have to realize that the Lord Himself is with you. He will never leave nor forsake us. Amen? So, the... So, iyon yung mga sampung guidelines for Christian living. So, the Bible teaches us that the Christian life is one of the constant growth. When you were born again, again when you were born again, you were born into God's family. Always remember that nung naging born again tayo, tayo ay uh, ipinanganak na naging, kap naging uh, we belong to God's family, okay? It is God's purpose that you grow into feel nature, into feel nature and become mature in Christ, okay? So it would be against the law of God and nature if you were to remain a baby and thus become a spiritual dwarf. In uh, Second Peter chapter in Second Peter chapter three verse eighteen, the Bible says that we are to grow. It implies steady development, constant enlargement, and increasing wisdom. All right. So, wag na kung ikaw ay Christian, matagal na Christian, no. Wag mo nang binibibi ang sarili mo. It's it's uh it's time for you to grow up. Okay. So, maging mature tayo sa Panginoong Yesus. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig at hopefully, marami kayong natutunan ngayong, ngayong araw na ito. Maraming salamat and God bless everyone.